Recently, we have seen a couple of papers that learn to generate diverse and realistic motions by training deep learning models on a motion capture database. This database is usually created by using high-end equipment laid all over a large studio space. This requires us to bring in experts like actual players in order to recreate the motions so that we can record their movements and later use those for creating game animations. Obviously, this is an expensive and a tedious process for data collection. So today, I want to share a paper that makes it possible to simply use the game footage of these players and easily create a motion capture database without any of the extra steps. It is titled Real-Time Multi-Person 3D Motion Capture with a single RGB camera and is published by half the population of planet Earth. <laughs> Sorry, just kidding. It is published by 10 researchers across Germany, Switzerland and Canada. Now, there are two key contributions of this paper. First, it estimates 3D poses of all the people in a camera frame in a single pass while dealing with any occlusions that may arise from their interactions. It also preserves relative localization of different poses, making it easy to transfer their poses to a 3D virtual environment. Second, this works in real time, making it possible to use this for interactive gaming with just a regular camera plugged into a regular computer. As you can see here, the transferred motion to virtual characters is pretty darn close to the real actions, making it ideal for Kinect-like games without requiring the expensive hardware. The model uses a three-stage architecture where the first stage extracts the 2D and 3D pose estimates for all the detected subjects fully visible in the frame. The second stage ensures all consistencies in body measurements and relation of the detected body parts to one another so that an unrealistic pose is not estimated. It does this in parallel for all detected poses and also takes care of occlusion. The final stage reconciles all the pose information and ensures temporal consistency across frames, so the entire motion is smooth over time for every pose. I am really excited for this line of work because it has countless applications to the field of gaming both for developers as well as gamers. To see more results from this paper, I encourage you guys to head over to the author's YouTube page. I have put all the links in the description down below.